We're being asked to integrate. Now we have something under a square root, so that's usually a good bet for our u. So let's try it. So we'll set u equal to x plus 2. And then so du is just equal to dx. The problem here is that we have x minus 5. So we've taken care of this piece, but we still have to deal with the x minus 5. So we can resolve that by taking this equation and solving it for x. So x is equal to u minus 2. Right? Just subtracting 2 from both sides would give us u minus 2. Now here we have x minus 5. So if we like, we can subtract 5 from both sides. And then we have x minus 5 equals u minus 7. And so now we're ready to go. Right? We have x minus 5. It's right here. And that's equal to u minus 7. And we have u as x plus 2. So let's make the substitution. So x minus 5 will become u minus 7 times the square root of u, du. We have to distribute the square root of u to finish. So let's first rewrite the square root of u as u to the 1 half. So this is u to the 1 half du. And now we'll distribute. So u to the 1 half times u to the first power is u to the 3 halves, right? 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves. You add the exponents. And then you distribute here, and you get minus 7 u to the 1 half. Parentheses du. Now we're ready to integrate. We can use the power rule. So this is equal to, let's see, u to the, we're taking 3 halves and we're adding 1, so 5 halves. And when you divide by 5 halves, you really multiply by 2 fifths minus 7 u to the 3 halves and when you divide by 3 halves you really multiply by 2 over 3 plus our constant. So this is equal to 2 fifths now u was x plus 2 so this is x plus 2 to the 5 halves minus 2 times 7 is 14 over 3 and then u was x plus 2, so x plus 2 to the 3 halves, plus our arbitrary constant, which we called c. Just to recap, when we first started this problem, we decided to try a u substitution. u was whatever was inside the square root, so in this case, x plus 2. We got here, du equals dx, but we had a problem, right? We have this x minus 5. And that needs to be in terms of u. What we did was take this equation here and solve it for x. We subtracted 2 from both sides. And we got x equals u minus 2 over here. We wanted x minus 5, so we subtracted 5. So we got x minus 5 equals u minus 7. So x minus 5 is u minus 7. Here it is. And it becomes u minus 7. And then this piece here, that was the U. And the rest is, is pretty straightforward after that. I hope this helps.